Teresa, many congratulations to you for your wonderful selection. Uh, you wanted to go US uh, for PhD in chemistry and then uh, you got admitted with uh, Stony Brook University. That was your dream university. Yeah, very much thank you. And that was indeed a great pleasure like working with you and you helped me a lot wherever I wanted some help. You helped me so much. Mm -hmm. Many thanks to you. Thank you. So let's have this discussion. Your visa is already scheduled. We will go through in, mm -hmm. uh, in a deeper way. So uh, tell me about your academic background and your research background from where you are and how you came up that you wanted to go US for your PhD program. I have completed my undergrads from St. Francis College, uh, Hyderabad. And further, I completed my MS graduation from Vellore the Institute of Technology, Vellore. Uh, working in my MSc project, like in organic synthesis, I, I felt like to learn more about this subject and okay. to have some impact on the environment, like to do something, some research or find something new to be something different. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when did you complete your BSc and MSc? I've completed my BSc uh, uh, by 2020, September. Okay. And my MSc was completed uh, by 2023, uh, okay. June. June. So when you thought that you will go US and, and want to explore your PhD program? Like you are asking, when did I? Yes, came up across my India. Like, first of all, I actually thought of going to Europe because, uh, first, every like whenever I was talking to people, they used to say, we can do your PhD in European countries and then you can move on for your postdocs to US. That was the trend which was being followed by most of the people, actually. Okay. And so, okay. I tried applying and I understood that without much more research experiences and mm -hmm. more other comp compatibility with different other individuals, I won't be able to receive and I was mm -hmm. wasting a lot of time. Okay. So I came across uh, this institutes, different institute in the US and their programs where they are offering us like a proper coursework and then they are letting yes. us into the research research right. field, not just directly moving us to the uh, research. Yes, so, true. Yeah, right, right directly to the project. So it will mm. be, I thought it will be more impactful to my career also because I right. get to learn subject first, then yes. I'll be able to work on my project. So I agree that I keep telling this to students, perfect grooming is only possible in the US. And there is yeah. a way, uh, yeah, yeah. So um, they give you have enough opportunity to look around who is doing what. And, and there is your motivation and good information about it. Thank yes. you. And how did you uh, uh, get to know about about us, our, about our mentorship? Actually, uh, I get to hear about one of from one of my friend, Kezia, who okay. got uh, placed in Kansas University last oh, yeah. last. <laughs> So yes. I uh, she told me about your the work which you are doing your how you are helping students to get to US and mm -hmm. to uh, meld their uh, career there. So I searched on YouTube, then I just gone through your website, and then I thought maybe I'll also give it a shot. <laughs> okay, I think last year there were two students from VIT, right? Two or three? I yeah. don't remember. Uh, yeah started uh, well exploring things and tell me which examination did you take uh, for this uh, PhD program uh, admission? Just IELTS exam for English proficiency. Mm -hmm. Other than that, no other experience or exams were required. And what was your score and how did you prepare? Uh, my score was uh, overall of 6.5 okay. uh, and the way I prepared was I just prepared by my own. I just solved some questions. I used YouTube for listening and uh, some reading experiences. Mm -hmm. And the materials I received from internet, I just utilized them. Like within a month and a half, I prepared and I just went and took the rest. And that is, I think, more than sufficient. I agree with you. Yeah. 
So, I mean, there are so many applications uh, result yet to come, right? And you decided yeah. very quickly. I think you are the first one to decide. In, I mean, so many students. Yeah. Actually, of, uh, my first option was only Stony Brook. Stony Brook. <laughs> okay, so tell me why Stony Brook and what is the scholarship, stipend and everything? Uh, why Stony Brook? Because it's in the central, main part of US, like New York City. Okay. And their academics and how they, the work which they are doing, like how they are melding all the fields of chemistry, like they mm. have an um, interdisciplinary way of molding the uh, works and all. Okay. And also, um, I also had a friend over there. So I thought maybe I won't be left alone. And I think th so, this could be a main reason. I, I was thinking maybe you know, yeah. <laughs> your friend is there. <laughs> so, uh, so, and they have and a big I work. like their work. Yeah. Yes, yes. Nice. I think maybe your friend is playing some role. Well, don't go anywhere. <laughs> come here. And anyway, just a <laughs> very good place. And then also yeah. uh, very good uh, research wise, good funding. So tell me about your, your support, financial support. Uh, sorry, I didn't get you. Uh, tell me about the financial support from SBU that you are getting. Uh, I think they told her, um, don't remember the right amount, I think. Uh, some around Indian money, like 35 lakhs per annum. Okay. So basically, they are covering your, your uh, tuition yeah, waiver, entire monthly staff. Yes. And medical insurance along with. All yeah. right. Very nice. Uh, do you remember that uh, when there is something like uh, first facing thing, right? Was this is like first time you're getting some offer, right? You have emotions yeah. and some kind of feeling. So how would you feel that well once you have this? Sir, I got it. Says the SBU. How? What was your feeling? Last year I tried by my own to apply in different universities and I was mm -hmm. so disappointed. Because I made so many errors in while applying, while making SOPs. It was everything I learned from my mistake. And this time I made sure that I won't do all those mistakes again. And mm -hmm. well, I had your support. You helped me to complete my SOP, CD, everything. Mm -hmm. So I was really happy. I didn't I don't know how to explain my happiness or how I don't know to explain actually. I was so happy. So what was the time when you saw the email? Well, this is the email. Actually, it was not a good time at my home. My grandmother passed away the week, week before. Sorry so just after that, I got to I got the email. That email was not the offer letter. They just mailed me saying you are being selected. After three to four days, I received the offer letter actually. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, I was overwhelmed actually. So, whom, with it. whom you, you share this news first? I talk, I just called my sister. I just showed her the mail directly. She was mm -hmm. also like, oh, you're going finally. She was also so happy. And uh, we're so happy for you. Yeah, I remember then when you uh, sent me that offer that I asked, wait for some time. You will have the support. Yeah, you asked. So this is the way. As we work, yes, so yeah. happy. It starts like this. You remember how we start slowly, 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 and eventually getting to the point admission offer. Then visa processing and just the formality, even even going there. So tell me, tell us about our efforts in this uh, journey. <laughs> Your effort was like priceless for me, actually, as I mentioned. From all my mistakes, you helped me correct everything. I learned so many things. And now I get a chance to tell other people how you have to apply for an opportunity mm. so that you won't do the mistakes which I have already done. True. So I even recommend you to them. Uh, okay. Also, you. you helped me. Like, I don't know how you helped me. Like, you just asked me a few questions. You just asked me to fill up some questions. And Question. while after filling up and giving to you the questionnaire, you just made me an SOP, which was much more, I don't know, to rate it. Like, 
it was okay. very much enough for me to get an admission at us that was tony brook university yes. so and also uh, resume you help just gave me a template i just added whatever informations i had and i just gave it to you you did all the corrections all the editing all the formatting everything was done and you just gave me then you have given me all the list of universities which again reduced my uh, work to directly to half i just have to choose some universities from the list you have given me mm -hmm. so that was also again a, a easy part for me to complete mm -hmm. then again then while uh, filling up the applications whenever i had an question or what to do what to select when i was stuck at the point i used to just directly just to send just send you a whatsapp message and you used to yes, reply yes. me i understand you are busy you have so many other students to mm -hmm. uh, look after but still you did your maximum and you helped me whenever possible mm -hmm. and Thank i know it, like you can't be there at every point like every minute you can't reply if i message you now you can't reply me at the very five next minute you have mm -hmm. you will have your own time so you took your time but it was i will not say it was a big lag or something okay. it was pretty much proper timings everything happened at time mm -hmm. so i'm really happy with your team actually applications yes, when yes. the time when, like that too i think i completed my applications by start of november yes first yes. week or by first week of november so without your support and your help your team reviewed you reviewed all the applications everything you okay. corrected without any mistakes anything you helped me complete as well well thank you uh, just to share with you uh, uh, trisha when someone gets selected i have the same passion when i was getting into like few universities in the us nothing has changed yeah. sometimes i want one of my student to go to mit also just so you know yeah. it's like i am going to mit <laughs> this is yeah. what i feel like <laughs> you are also working with them the journey you are also accompanying them with yes them. yeah yeah That's very good. and it does not end here just so you know uh, even after going to the us sometimes student have various queries and we try mm -hmm. to help whatever way uh, we can help at what i feel like being a mentor always a mentor this is what yes i'm groomed mm -hmm. into <laughs> so yeah trisha you might have uh, heard or or have seen this being female the challenges you face to come to the stage and going i mean whatever you have done share with us so that maybe uh, others will get some inspiration some sort of things actually from my family i didn't face any challenges because my Very whole family was completely supportive my father he wanted to achieve something through us we are three girl children for him so nice. he wanted to achieve, uh, he couldn't do something in his life he couldn't mm -hmm. learn he couldn't uh, continue his career academic career so further so he wanted me to complete what he couldn't finish so that's why from mm -hmm. kerala he sent me to hyderabad for bsc my mm -hmm. undergrad then he sent me to tamil nadu north in kerala i just after my 12th pass out after my msc i'm coming back to kerala so then i was roaming in just in south india and he was a, he when i started applying for my phd he used to tell me apply to us apply to us i was at the beginning i was telling it's it takes time daddy like i'll first apply to europe and i'll see because five years first even i also thought because everybody is telling five years five years five years in europe you can complete it in three and a half year four year then once i get to know i understood it is not that simple everything is time consuming or anything the work quality everything changes when you change very, very the country you are a very thoughtful person by saying this it means you have analyzed thing by yourself otherwise people say yeah. so yeah your father angle uh, so how did he feel <laughs> you did not tell me yeah, that he was really so happy even he is in cloud 9 i guess ha unke jo sapne hai jab bacche pure karte hain to this is yeah. what i think usko express kar pana bahut mushkil hai i mean yes. being a father i would say uh, mm. okay That's... so happy i mean he did everything 
now you are going to be flag bearer okay invite yes. him i think next next uh, summer uh, in the us okay yes. don't forget okay. then no, both my of sister is actually planning to take him to canada take canada. them my parents to canada he okay. settled actually there so oh so okay then you guys can meet up yeah. and then i mean some sort of <laughs> <laughs> so happy look at the vision your your father somehow seen or visualized I mean, right? He tried to implement. You see, I mean, you are there. Your other sister is there. This is called yes. the vision. If you have a proper vision, things can can be accomplished uh, very nicely. So happy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Trisa, you Trisa, eh? And we're gonna connect yeah. soon. And we're gonna have a lot of, uh, I mean, queries answered and probably end up in a very good suit. All right. Yeah. I wish you all the best and thank you for such. wonderful uh, motivational uh, interaction thank you bye bye, bye.